Hi, my name is Shane, and I'm proud to live here in America, but it saddens me that our country prides itself on being the land of liberty and the free, when in fact, there are many Americans who are not free. We must begin to put ourselves in other people's shoes. As human beings, we have the capability of getting to know, relating to, and sometimes even understanding one another. A little over a year ago, I lost the love of my life, who accidentally fell from a four-story building onto a cement patio. Being a young couple, death was just something that we didn't prepare for. We had planned on getting married, but because we weren't, the hospital staff told me that I wasn't allowed in the emergency room. And the only way that I could be in there is if we were family. We were a family. We were together for six years. We bought a home. We started a business. We were planning on spending the rest of our lives together. But without a marriage certificate, the government considered us strictly roommates, and so did his parents. I wasn't able to get answers surrounding his death. I was banned from his funeral, and I wasn't able to properly say goodbye. Consider what it would be like if someone told you that you couldn't marry the one that you loved. It hurts. I am not asking for religions to bless marriages. Marriage licenses are issued by the state, not the church, which is precisely why America was founded on the separation of church and state. Marriage isn't just about the party, the dancing, the cake. It's about showing someone that you love them, that you want to take care of them, you want to be responsible for them. We live in a country where we can practice religion freely. We can have our own views, we can have our own opinions, and I love that about this country. After posting a video on YouTube a few months ago called It Could Happen to You, telling the story of what happened after Tom died, I received unimaginable support. But I also heard from thousands of people who wanted to let me know that they think I'm disgusting, that I should be killed, that I should kill myself, and that I'm going to spend eternity burning in hell all because Tom and I loved each other. And you have every right to think that, but I'm telling you it's not a choice. Tom and I both prayed and prayed not to be gay. We knew we were different and we wanted to change, but we couldn't. I don't think God would create us and expect us to go against who we are, expect us to live a life of celibacy, or to force ourselves to be with someone we're not even attracted to, just so we can make it into heaven. How many more people have to take their own lives rather than be who they are for everyone to realize that it's not a choice? Yes, in some states, civil unions and domestic partnerships are available and a lot of people feel like gay couples should be happy with that. One thing that people don't realize is that domestic partnerships and civil unions are not recognized on a federal level. This denies over a thousand rights and protections that marriage provides. People say that I should be happy with the progress that's been made and that marriage equality will be a reality. I just wish that Tom would have been able to experience it before he died. No one should have to wait. If you consider these legal partnerships to be equal, then I have to ask you, would you trade your marriage for a domestic partnership? How many more couples have to be denied their partner's social security benefits? How many more couples have to travel state to state with their wills and their legal documents? How many more couples have to see their loved one get deported? How many more couples have to be denied the right to adopt? How many more couples have to be turned away by hospital staff? I am a human being that wants to experience love just like you. I will not tell you who you can and cannot love. At the end of the day, isn't love the only thing that truly matters in life? To all of you out there that are afraid to speak up, afraid to share your voice because there's so much hate and opposition standing in your way, please stand up to that fear. Be proud of who you are. Trust that God did not put us on this earth to suffer. You are stronger than whatever circumstances you are facing. Use your voice. Get out and vote. This November, I hope that everyone in this country and especially the four states that are voting on marriage equality, Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, and Washington, puts themselves in someone else's shoes. Your vote isn't just about you. It's not just about me. It's about all of us. We are all in this together, equally. It's time for the United States to live up to its symbol of freedom. There is no freedom until we are equal.